video I would love to present my newest template to you called Organic Shamanic House. Um, and as the name suggests, it was created with the intention to create um, tracks that could be found in the genre of organic house, tribal house, Afro house, ethnic house, you know, like all these more like up-tempo genres because maybe you know that I usually do more ambient and down-tempo music. But in a recent Ableton private retreat that uh, I gave, a friend inspired me uh, to try also to go back to my roots a little bit, which is basically deep house and melodic techno and stuff, uh, to, to try faster BPMs as well again. And it would be nice if people would have tools um, they would like to produce like faster dance music and they could get this shamanic ritual ceremonial vibe for their productions as well and i figured yeah that sounds great let's do it <laughs> and yeah three months later here it is and i'm very happy and very excited to show you and we dive in in a second into the sounds and the structure of it just wanted to show you here on the master channel if i click on it you see there's a limiter it might be activated on your template and i turn it off for now um, because i don't want the music to overpower my voice so you see now everything will be six decibels quieter and i put the limiter here because i mixed everything here in the template because i'm using the templates also to produce my tracks and the way that i mix my tracks is that they peak at minus six which means in the busiest part when they're all playing together it's not going above minus six here on the master and this has to do with um, reasons for mastering engineers asking me to leave this much headroom. Um, so yeah, you can leave the limiter on if you want. I suggest to turn it off so you can set your levels individually. And of course, this is not like a final mix. This is just how I would like to mix it. Feel free to set your levels. And if you're like completely beginner, no worries. I got you covered as well. So let's have a look here step by step. So first we see um, different groups, right? So those um, says drums, bass, percussion, instrument, harmonies, atmo and ambience. And then we have the bonus here, the shamanic atmos effects rack. Um, and basically those are the main elements that we need for electronic music. So there's nothing new here, but as we get into it, then it gets really interesting. So you can open the groups actually by clicking here and you know as long as you see still like those lines here those crossed lines still means there's a group so you can have groups within groups right so i open the drum groups and within the drum group i have like three more groups which are kicks shamanic drums and ethnic drums and uh, of course i start with the kicks um because that's uh, the main, the most important element. Without the kick, there is no dancing uh, in house music. So this is the pulse, this is the rhythm. And if we open the kick group and we um, go down, you can see I have 16 different kicks um, for each energy level, you could say. So this is a punchy kick <clears throat> and this is a warm and soft kick. And let me get this out of the way for now. And I also get rid of the mixer so we see. So, right, so those are audio clips. And they can be played. And you can see, you know, per channel or track, this is also called, there's different samples. So I can play one clip. At a time, if we can bring back the mixer and you see the level, right? It's set here in total to minus 12 because I have the minus 6 here. And this is the way that I like to be my kick um, to balance the mix. So again, this is all like super sub subjective and the, the way that I like it. So if you want to adjust that, feel free to do so. So those are the punchy kicks. And then also, you know, for the more gentle um deeper house music there's also like you know like subtle and warm kicks so you can just click through them you know and find something that you like 
So there's a couple. I all designed those kicks um, based on what I like. And then you can choose one and go with that. And here we have the shamanic drums. Super awesome also. It's like three different shamanic drums. It's like um, two frame drums and a buffalo drum all pl played at different rhythms. And as you can see, like the tempo of the template is under 20. And um, so the drums are played back in that tempo. And so you can hear them. And you can play them, of course, together with the kick. You know, and then you have a different one. If I turn this off, this on. It's now the frame drum. Right, and if we double click on the channel, you can see that I mixed it like already. So I applied some compression and EQ and sidechain compression and stuff like that uh, in order to make it sound like really good out of the box. But if you know what you're doing, feel free to change the settings bring in more low end or whatever. This is just a mix that sounds good to me. And you can mix it in whatever way you want. So yeah, so those shaman drums, super important, of course, for shamanic um, house music. And um, you can even play those drums alone. That's, that's the whole cool thing about this template is it's super versatile. You know, it's called organic shamanic house, but you can create pretty much any genre, like, ambient or whatever i use it for sound journeys as well so you don't even have to bring in the bass drum you can just go with the shamanic drum right have this rhythm going and then we just jump all the way to the ambient section here and go to the nature sounds and maybe pull up some jungle ambience here right so now we already have the jungle feel and then maybe bring in some Atmo pads here. And then go over to the Shamanic Atmos effects rack. And play some sounds here. Right, and then maybe go to the flutes. I'll go to the didgeridoo. You know, so that's just an example. Like, you can totally play around and, and use it for all kinds of genres, not just for house music, because the focus, the main focus in what is making this pack different from other packs is that is focused on um, organic sounds, on ritualistic sounds, so that you can create like a ceremonial, ritualistic vibe. And the main intention is to allow you to create music that allows people to reconnect with nature and um, get inspired and get uplifted to yeah take care of the earth and to live a life in balance with the earth. Okay, so this was just a brief demonstration, but let's quickly go through the whole template. So after the shamanic drums, we have ethnic drums, which are like, you know, percussive elements from all over the world, mainly African, like the Bata and the Djembe, then the Kulo Ipuja from, um, it is used in Venezuela, but coming from Africa, and the Kumako as well is an Afro-Venezuelan drum. And then we have the Kitli Plus, same thing, Afro-Venezuelan, and then some taiko drums from um, Japan. And we will have a listen in a second. So then after the drums, um, there's the bass, right? So uh, I have like a classical sub bass and then a, like a more harmonic bass. So the sub bass would sound something like this.
right? So this is just like different bases for you to play around with and then harmonic bass is more like playing really melodies and they are a little bit modulated over time so I did some filter modulation to make it a sound a bit more interesting and dynamic make sure that you listen with headphones otherwise you cannot really hear the low frequencies yeah so the bass right super important as well and then lots of percussions so we have organic percussions that's like really cool stuff you know like for instance i have like stones or wood so that is like all organic material creating rhythm and, and i love these sounds and spend a lot of time designing them and then Again, wood, hollow, percussion sounds. And then we have shakers, all kinds of shakers. So if your track is really picking up on uh, tempo and, or let's say, energy, you know, like those shakers can really take your track uh, to the next level. And then some metal percussions. different pitches so you can play with the elements basically that's the whole idea also to include metal percussions and then the udo is more the water element right Germanic drum obviously the earth and then the shakers is more the air And then we have the tribal percussion, super powerful as well. And we have low, mid, and high. So those are like the frequency spectrum. So like this is like for really cinematic or tribal, super powerful. And you can really like just blend it together. in whatever way you like so there's infinite infinite possibilities um, you know to, to create and, and you would just have to listen to them and you know see what you like and use it in your track and I will show you how I would go about creating a track in a second or basically two different ways so then uh, we have the instruments uh, those are like lots of cool um, native instruments um, that uh, yeah create this authentic feeling of this like Mesoamerican South American vibe that you get when you are like living in the jungle or at the ocean. So we have like didgeridoo. <laughs> which is kind of like a kalimba from Africa. Different colors. Super beautiful. So playing like different melodies at different tempos, basically. And again, like mixed everything and I also have like send and return effects. So basically I have a reverb, a short one and a longer one and a delay and then a super long reverb. And I mix that in here on the sends and returns. So for instance, like if I turn this off, there's no echo right now, right? But if I turn this on, you will see and hear that the delay is, if, is applied and if I wanted for instance a cathedral reverb if I want to wash it out I just go 
like so right and now it's like super reverby so you can totally use that as well to sound design your elements or like you know make them more ethereal and yeah make them fit better in the mix or make them sound the way you like and those are kalimbas beautiful right so just different pitches and a sansula as well which is kind of a kalimba on a drum like body So those are the individual instruments and then if you want to get it really going there's a, like an organic melody so this is really fast and the instrument is called a celeste which is special kind of almost like a piano sounds really beautiful So there you get all kinds of different flavors. And then we have the hand pen and sensula, which is in this case more like texture, because it like was played with a bow, for instance, and there's a lot of sound design involved. So like, yeah, very mystical or dreamy at times. And then we have Ocarina's uh, one shots here. So those are intended to be played only once and you can really create your own melody here. Just playing the clips. can play the loops as well and maybe let's just add some nature sounds here for context maybe let's add some water and maybe uh, some jungle or forest maybe Right, this is how I would use it. I would always like put some nature sounds and then all those sounds sound a bit different. Now like all those all those instruments um, imitate the sound of nature basically so it goes really well together. And this sounds like a bird. See, like it's like almost like a conversation between the birds in the background and the ocarina. So yeah, lovely sounds. And then we have um, flute pads actually, which is really cool. So now it gets like atmospheric. Those are like pan flutes. Which are great also for transitions, you know. Or just as the texture in the background. And we have them in low and high pitch. So this is an octave lower. This would be an octave higher. could play some flute phrases on top so 
So again, these are meant to be played once, not just like infinitely repeating. And we have them in different pitches. Right, a lot of magic can be created here. Those flutes and can like even really crank up the reverb. So for instance, like let's say you play this and then you increase the reverb. Right? Wow, it sounds super magical. Yeah, and then we have um, the African flute phrases again. You know, a little bit more optimistic and joyful, playful. And then mystery flute phrases. Here, the special Aboriginal flutes. And then even like double flutes. flutes that's why I try to include as many as possible without over saturating it and again here like flute grooves which are really like shamanic and ritualistic like with the pan flute like really for tribal and afro house or shamanic house right if you combine that with some drums here And then you bring in some shakers as well. Some of the tribal shakers maybe. effect sounds here. Right, so super cool. Very unique rhythms. If you know me, you know that I love pads. Somehow we come like to like the harmonies, which I find really important in order to get an emotional connection. Like before I start a track, I always start with the nature sounds and then I find one of those pad sounds here. So um, so let's see, we have the drones, the low drones, and this is like really something more like for sound journeys or intros and outros of your tracks. Like I wouldn't play a drone together with a bass line, for instance, and it takes up a lot of space, but it's also uh, like frequency wise, but it's also like really powerful, um, you know, for this grounding and earthy atmosphere. So let's have a listen, you know, like this is like, like super mystical 
back almost. Right, so those I would put in the background for a sound journey or just maybe like a little introduction, make it like a cinematic intro. But you know, it could work. Like if I put a kick here and a shamanic drum. You know, it still still works. Put some jungle sounds. You know, it's just very atmospheric, but still like rhythmical. a humming drone. And then more intense here. So that is really special, but you might find a use for it in some setting. You can of course also sound design it and make it less obvious and <laughs> put it more in the background. Right, so yeah, that's just a couple of really powerful drones. For more like, yeah, ambient or ambient techno. You know, I don't know if you know Vanderwelle, but they are one of my favorite artists this kind of ambient techno, dub techno genre and, and this kind of reminds me a lot of, of Van der Welle like you know it's like drone, ambient drone, shamanic techno something like that you can get really creative So yeah, these are like the low drones. And then we also have the harmonies and these are chord progressions, you know? So those are just one notes and these are like a couple of notes at the same time. And those are like really uh, the emotional uh, foundations for the track, so, right? And and they are like in, in a kind of house chord manner, like, you know, like suspended chords, seventh and ninth and sus chords and stuff. So it's just like really beautiful. It's nice tribal ambiences here. Um, It's also like a lot of layering going on here, but I have friends who are like uh, filmmakers and they do documentaries, visiting tribes and stuff, and they send me material, and then I'm just blending that all together and, and affecting it and creating these collages that create this kind of ambient, tribal ambience. So this is like very emotional. can make like ethnic house or something. And you 
just have to be careful to not oversaturate things, to not use too many elements, right? Because uh, it's just tempting, I know, and there's a lot. Um, it's over 900 loops. And at the same time, try to find like those elements that really work well together and talk to each other and, and let them stand on their own and don't play too many things at the same time. Right, so, so those low harmonies are really good background elements, but at the same time, very emotional chords. That evoke this house feeling. And then we have the mid harmonies, which are then octaves higher, and also some of them pretty mystical. Right, so if I'm going like... So you can do a lot of storytelling. It's really warm and dreamy, mystical. Yeah, and you can like really leave it like that and just make ambient music I just some pads and some ambience so there's a lot of them <laughs> so I said I I love pads, so I created a lot, especially in the midsection here. But it's very beautiful, very peaceful. Yeah, I could go on like forever. And then there's how many is high, so those are like the higher or octaves. All right, and you can play them together sometimes. Yeah, so you know I love pads and textures and and ambience. Like a lot of magic. Which is great for intros. And then... I also put in some classical house chords, like with analog synths. So this is kind of more classical house music vibe So these are all recorded with my peak synthesizer and give more like a classical house vibe. A deep house, dream house, this kind of stuff. 
And then uh, Organic Pets, I made a video about how I sound designed them, but basically out of field recordings, I created textures and then I blended them with synth sounds and played pads and this sounds like this. I really love those. So if you're solo, you can hear, right? There's textures in those pads. Super beautiful lash pads. Yeah, I love these pads, super nice. And then cinematic pads, so those are also made with analog synths. They're more dramatic in nature. So this is if you want to give your music like a darker tone or more melancholic, you can use these guys. really rich heads yeah and i could go on forever we're almost there so there's now like the atmo and ambience section after the pets so right, those two parts, like the harmonies and the atmos and the ambience is like what makes the difference, you know, to like the classical house music or whatever, like if you use those elements, um, then you will, you know, give your track a lot of emotion, a lot of storytelling and coloration and organic, mystical, magical feelings. And then here we have the ambiences and the atmo pads. So basically ambiences is like sounds like a uh, rainmaker. Right, if I solo this or like play this one, on. Rainmaker. This is a harp. Wind sound. Yeah, and sometimes it's even abstract. Uh, it's really like a surprise. It's just a couple of magic buckles or just like really just some ear candy basically or like another background layers and there's lots of them and there's also the atmo pads which are sort of harmonic but also like really mystical right you find all kinds of vibes here it's like you just have to listen through and and intuitively play with it and see what you come up with Right, so there's a ton of them as well.
Yeah, beautiful. And then we have nature sounds. Um, so three different, no, four different categories actually. So like water, classical. I love water because it brings things into flow. It allows us to connect with our emotions. And then birds, isolated more or less. Right, like different birds. Or this nature feeling. And then, let's change the vibe a little bit. Let's find something more mystical. Yeah. So now we have the jungle by night also. Lots. So those are the sounds that I'm surrounded by all the time. Right, so this is... If your tracks are like more mystical or like journey like you can add all those beautiful jungle sounds yeah so awesome and there's lots of jungle ambience in the night mainly Birds flying. Yeah, and so on. And then the last part is um, the tribal ambience. So as I said already, I made montages um, from different tribes um, all over the world and just layering together and sound designing them. So for this one, we maybe want... you can really like create this ceremonial ritualistic atmosphere with those chants and those atmospheres and just give it like a really like a human touch and make it extra magical right because everything is energy and frequency and if those sounds are recorded in ceremonies with intentions and prayers then then this energy and this frequency will be imbued in your music Yeah, <laughs> so that's it for the presentation. <clears throat> In the next videos, I will show you how I used it to make tracks and even like how to create like a live performance out of it and stuff. Um, but yeah, we already like talked a lot of time about it and uh, I think it's time to end this video. Uh, yeah, I hope you like it. I hope you are inspired to create magic with it. And I had a lot of fun making it and I'm super proud that it's out right now. And uh, just uh, little words of my partnership with Futuro Nativo. So as I said, um, if you look on, on my website, like you get it on my website, harmonicresonance.com. 
and then you go to Ableton templates and then you can find it here right and as you can see here like 33 percent of your money goes directly to futuro nativo and um that's an organization that supports and promotes sustainable and economic growth in indigenous communities and that's their website and um yeah they have beautiful projects all over the world like in costa rica and peru and brazil and you can find out more about it i'm donating to their music program to their reforestation program and to the costa rican program um which i describe here for the baruca tribe which is related around ecotourism and ethnic tourism and projects that aim to preserve the history and the traditions of the indigenous territory of the Boruca here in Costa Rica. So if you purchase the template, which is right now at the intro price of $60, it will go up to $75 um, next month. Then you support not just me, but also the Boruca tribe and many other tribes around the world who are taking care of the earth and, and who can teach us how to be living in harmony together with the earth. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you so much and see you on the next one.